Today, we're gonna to be looking at this beautiful water fountain. I'm gonna be showing you what's inside the box, setting it up for you, and giving you my honest opinion. The seller did send this to us in exchange for a video. However, all of the views and opinions in this video, as always, are my own. My Ferris Land fountain has arrived. Inside the box, you're gonna have the power cord, the fountain basin, uh, this pretty little decorative ball, the rocks, the instruction manual, and then the fountain components themselves. This little ball goes right here, and I'm assuming there might be a light. We'll find out. Okay, we gotta take this out for now. Now, on the bottom, there is a light. We're gonna shove this through the hose until you can't push it anymore. Then we're gonna attach the pump to the inside of the hose. That was easy. So that the cord goes toward the back. It comes through the back and that the pump will be completely submerged. Okay, next we're gonna decorate it with some stones. They don't really give you very many stones. I would personally order more stones because I would like them all over the top. It's fine. You put the ball right there. You don't want to put any type of hard water in here, so I'm going to use bottled water. It was about a bottle and a half. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. There does not appear to be an on off switch, so when it's plugged in, it is on. This looks amazing in our bedroom. It is packaged really nicely. I just wish that this wasn't styrofoam and it was like that squishy stuff instead. But why, Mama Vance? Why do you not want styrofoam? Because it gets everywhere. 